another common instrument will be an acoustic guitar. So let's have a look at one of them. So it's come up on this screen. So we'll go down to our fader banks and look for our guitar, which is here, AC guitar. We'll click on it, it's a little green, and it's a little brown here where the channel is. So now, thinking from top to bottom, we'll start doing some processing. Firstly, as it's going for a DI box, we'll need phantom power, so we'll turn that on. And then we'll think about our gain. So looking up here, we'll find the one which says gain, press it, lights up, We'll move down to this encoder and we'll turn it till we've got a nice healthy gain, not too much, not too little. So we've gone to about minus 15 here, which means we've got a bit of room to work with either way. So now we can unmute it with this button, making sure it's no longer lit up and turn the fader up to hear it. So now we can hear it, we set our gain, we'll move to our EQ. So we're clicking on it. It's not lit up, so once again, we need to press EQ on. Red ring's lit up, the graph is lit up blue. So, working down the channel strip, low pass filter, we won't need, we can move on. High pass filter, we will need. We'll click on it, it lights up. We'll turn it on with this button here, which is now lit up red, and the graph has changed to show this red line. So we'll build this in slowly until we hear some of the frequencies have dropped out where we'll have gone too far. So we'll roll back a bit. Usually around 120 is all right. Next, we can do more specific adjustments with these. So you may find there's no clarity. We'll need to take a bit of the lower frequencies out. You may find it a bit nasally take a bit around there, around 1K for the nasally frequencies, and around 250 to 400 hertz for the lower. So now we're ready, we've EQ'd, we can move down further, the compressor, we can select it and click on it. Now to turn it on, this button below the threshold will turn it on, as each encoder applies to the control above it. So we've turned it on, we'll work through it, starting with the tap, and then release. We want quite slow on these, so around 10, around 800 for release, and a nice low ratio between two and three. And then we'll work in the threshold till it's just about doing some work, not doing too much. So here we've gone to about 18. This graph is just about moving, not too much though. So we're not destroying the sound. So working down further, gate. In this case, we won't need it. So we can stop here and we're ready to go with our guitar.